Should you lower your prices when your clients say it's too expensive or I go to your competitor? That's what this video is all about. My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy. I help self-employed women to build a business and double their income in a year. How cool is that? Um, so what do you do when more and more clients come over to you and say, listen, you're too expensive. Um, I'm going to go to a client. So there's many things at, uh, happening at the same time here. Um, it may be that you are not targeting to the right people. And that's, uh, that's uh, it's something you need to look at. Because if you're uh, having a high-end product, a high-end price, and you target to beginners or starters or um, employees with a, um, a, a regular job instead of management or, direct, um, or CEO, then it's, it makes sense uh, that, that you're getting this comment too often. Um, something else which might be the case is that you have not been able to express the value enough. You have not been able to entice your client enough for them to see what the value is of your product or service. The other thing is, I always check out my competitors. Um, and not to uh, see if they have higher or lower prices, but more, what can I learn from them? What are they doing? What are they offering? What is their experience? What is their approach? So that I know if I hear someone saying, but I'm going to such and such, I will know immediately why that would not be a wise decision, why they would be better off with me. And I'm blunt enough to then say them. I say, well, you know, um, I know this person and um, and I'm not disqualifying that person. What I do is I up-level what I do. Yeah, because I don't think it's uh, it's nice to disqualify other people in, in a sales process. But that's my belief. There's one thing I will not do and that is lowering my prices. So we have to look at where are the right people, correct? And that's, that's important. Where are your ideal clients so that they can afford it? Something else I might do if they say, well, I'm considering going to, my compet to your competitor, Tineke, because they have a, a better price. I might consider to add something to the product, to the service, but I will not lower the price. I might say, okay, well, I'll add another month um, or something like that. But no, uh, so, so upgrade the product, not lower the price. That's just how valuable the service is. So I think you should consider doing the same. So whenever you make sales, you should, if, so if you are making sales, you know the sales process is working. You know that your ideal client is correct. The pricing strategy is correct. Your offer is, is uh, correct. Uh, your sales skills, your pitch deck, everything works, everything is in alignment, um, then it's actually a good time for you to raise your prices, no matter what your competition does. Yeah, because it's often also, especially when you offer a service, it's also often about personality, about having this click with a person. And if they have a click with your competitor, they're better off with them. You know, don't, don't worry about that. Um, there will be other clients for you, okay? So, I hope you've learned something. Uh, because never disqualify yourself. Lowering a price is disqualifying yourself. That's my opinion. Um, so, I hope you've learned something. And if you want to learn more, why don't you schedule a quick 15-minute call with me? It's not a sales call. It's a getting-to-know-each-other call. I will always try and serve you and help you at that moment. So if there is something urgent I can help you with, by all means, if I can, I will. Um, and we can always take it from there if you're interested. Yeah, I know for a fact that I can help you 
build a business and double your income in a year because that happens with all my clients. So if that's what you want, um, don't hesitate. Schedule the call. The link is in the, in the description and uh, maybe we'll talk soon. And otherwise, I want to inspire you again next week with the next topic. How to scale and grow your business in a year, double your income in a year. Bye bye for now.